So our fight fans, I'm the one called Richard, the one called James, and we're the Thing with MMA show doing our UFC 108 Saul vs Evans predictions. Um, yeah, this card's gone through a lot of changes um, for injuries and such, and there were supposed to be 12 different fighters fighting on the card that are not now. Yeah, it was so, like Nagira, Sean Shirk, it, Tyson Griffin. Pretty much blah, everyone blah, blah. in the UFC roster was supposed to be on this card at one time. <laughs> but we've got a card, it's not the greatest card, but it's going to be a few decent fights. Yeah, we and thought uh, 85 was bad in London, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, it's got nothing coming this card. <laughs> anyway, first fight on the prelims is Rafaelo versus Oliveira versus John Gunnison. Uh, Gunnison's debut in the UFC, I think he'll be up for it. I'm going to go for him with a submission. Uh, Oliveira, uh, decision. Okay. Next fight is Mike Powell versus Jake Ellenberger. Um, Ellenberger, the last fight he lost to Carlos Condent, and I think he's going to lose again with Mike Powell with a decision. Uh, okay. Jake Ellenberger, <coughs> TKO. Okay. Uh, next fight is Mark Muniz versus Ryan Jensen. Um, Mark Muniz come from WBC, had a few fights there, and they come to UFC. I think he's going to do quite well in this one. Uh, I'm going for Mark Muniz, TKO. Uh, I go for Muniz. Submission. Okay, um, next fight is the Spike TV slash ESPN, wherever you are watching it. Um, the f <coughs> that we actually get to see, guaranteed. Uh, the first fight is Cole Miller versus Dan Larson. Um, is, he, is he the younger brother or older brother? He's the young brother. He's the younger Joe, brother, Joe, Joe, yeah. the card. They've been trying to get, I think, there's been a lot of talk about Dan for a while now. Um, but well, he's on an eight fight win streak, isn't it? Yeah, is so, it? yeah. I mean, that's, but that's he's full. Good. Nobody's really. Yeah, so, this is his real test. This is yeah. his big test, obviously. Um, Coleman is a tough opponent as well for him. Yeah, it won't be a walkthrough. But I'm gonna go for uh, Lozen for with a TK. Hmm. I I will go for Cole Miller TK. TK. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the next fight on the the free card is Martin Campman versus Jacob Volkman. Volkman. They're both um, coming off losses, aren't they? Yeah, uh, Campman, Campman to, to uh, Daly and yeah. Volkman to. Who did Ca I can't remember who Volkman was. Was it Condit? <laughs> no. Let's have a look because it will bug me. Parlo Oh, Tiago, that was it, yeah. Because yeah. you, you were quite a fan of his, weren't you? Yeah. You should know that, really. Yeah, um, I'm going for um, Martin Campman in this one. I think he's going to come back and uh, get a TK over Voltman. Well, I think when uh, Voltman faced Chargo, uh I was impressed by him when we did our video. Yeah, I know, you and did like him. Yeah, it's Christmas Voltman. Oh, that wasn't that long ago either, was it? No, yeah, it was pretty. <clears throat> um, I think he shows a lot of heart, Voltman, but I think Campman would be uh, just a bit too much for him. So I go Campman uh, decision. Okay, uh, the first fight on the main card. This will be a fight. Yeah, it's this like, is it's the like, best fight on the card, yeah, on my opinion. Yeah. It is Junior De Santos versus Gilbert Yvel. Um, the next you, big thing. Yvel. Yeah, you, you quite right, Yvel. Yeah, I, I think he's good. Um, I think he will be the next big thing in the heavyweight division. He will. He will face like Frank Mir or whoever comes along. He will be the next big thing in a year or so. In my opinion. Okay. I remember you telling me that last night. You were quite Um Having James just said that, I'm going for Juno De Santos with a KO. <laughs> that will be a fight, though. That is that is the fight I'm going for. Uh, Gilbert Yvel by knockout. Knockout? Yeah, <laughs> I'm going for it. It's on. <laughs> um, the next fight is Jim Miller versus Dwayne Ludwig. Yeah, me neither. Problem is he was he, he was supposed to fight Sean Shirk when he before that was supposed to be was it Tyson Griffin before that or whatever it was and it's just all uh, weird. Yeah, apparently it is. <laughs> um, I'm going for Jim Miller but with a decision. Yeah, Dwayne Wolves won't win this, so I'm going Jim Miller uh, TKO. Next fight on the card is Joe Larson versus Sam Stout. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, that sh should be a good fight. I, I really do rate um, Joe in, uh, in the MMA. He, he lost to um, to Ken Flo. Yeah. Last fight, but he, he's a really good fight, and I think he's going to win by a submission. Guillotine. Yeah, I'll go for Joe. I think he will get a TKO. Sam Salt is just a prelim fighter. 
Um, I don't really <coughs> rate him to be so honest. You think he's only on there because of the whole injury? Oh yeah, definitely. He's only on there because of all the people pulled out or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm going for Joe. To uh, okay, uh, on to the co-main event. Um, Come on. <laughs> yeah, it's Dustin Hazlett versus Paul Semtex Daily. Um, <coughs> Daily is one of the best British fighters well, I watched one of his video on UFC on Dana's blog and he said he's representing for the UK and that so we've obviously got to show him love and stuff and support him uh, Dustin Delhi Hazlitt a little joke if you're from England even if you're from England <laughs> no one will get that <laughs> yeah well Hazlitt it's like a cheap meat you get on delicatessens see I have to explain the jokes ok well done um, <coughs> this will be a good fight Paul Daly obviously beat Martin Campman, who's fighting on the same card. He was supposed to be fighting Carlos, Carlos Condit. Condit, and then Paul Daly called Condit a pussy for backing out. Uh, it'd be interesting. But yeah, this fight, if it, if because obviously Hazlitt is going to try and take Daly down. He he hasn't got the greatest stand up, and Daly is an animal in the stand up. He's he's more tight and everything. It's just. Well, that's what they reckon that Dustin will try and take him down. Yeah, if he, he does no stand up game, if he at doesn't, all. <laughs> this, this this could be a bad day. That's it. Um, he he'll get. I'm going for a, a TKO um, in the first round. Well, yeah. Um, if it if as long as it stays stand up, Daily will just just play with him basically. So I'll go for Daily TKO first round. I really think it'll be first round. I don't think it's getting out of the first round. I'll go beginning of second, just to be awkward. Okay. So you but, yeah. yeah. Okay. On to the main event with Rashad Sugar Evans. No, Sugar Rashad Evans. Is it Sugar Rashad Evans? I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, whichever way around it is. Versus... <laughs> Thiago. Uh, Goddamn Silver. He's Ugh. changed his nickname. Yeah. He's brilliant, these fights. Um, yeah, they're... Um, Rashad was supposed to be fighting... Do you know what my favourite fi- uh, favorite moment of 2009 was? Go on. Machida knocking Silver out. Really? You were in Devon then, weren't you? Yeah. You missed it. It was a good knockout. <laughs> but yeah, um, Rashad was supposed to be fighting Rampage, then Rampage went to Hollywood and they've done that. So they got Thiago Silva. Good challenge for him. I think he's. No, I won't. Okay. Um, do you want to just say who you're going for now? And then... Yeah, Rashad Evans, knockout. Wow, you're very angry about him. Um, yeah, I, I think it's quite dangerous for Rashad because. Silver has got knockout power and he's got good ground and pound. No, he hasn't. Um, he's also got good jiu-jitsu. No, he hasn't. Um, and he's a good Just say fighter. Evans is going to win. You say Evans wins. I think oh, it will get nasty. <laughs> um, I think Evans is going to, because he's got very good wrestling, I think he's going to take him down. Although Silver has got good jiu-jitsu, I think he'll be, he'll be good enough to stand with him, take him down and do some ground and pound. And yeah, I think you're going to be a referee stoppage. And hopefully, I think they're saying if Evans does beat Silver, um, he'll be fine. He will beat Silver. When he beats Silver, um, they're looking for Rampage to him to fight in April, maybe in the UK then. No, they're so not that weird. stupid. We d- we don't get fights like that. We can always believe. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have a dream, James. <clears throat> Gotta have a dream. But yeah, that's our predictions. Um, I don't know if you've seen our channel. We did a um, a W. WC and Strike Force predictions. Yeah. They weren't as great as these because we don't get it live over here and we can't. Well, I stayed up and watched Strike Force. Oh, did you? Yeah, I watched it on the internet. And it was very good, Strike Force. Very, very good. Some of the biggest fights of the year were on that fight. Really? Yeah. That's good. It's like, only because you Melendez start like, and that. when it's dark, you get to stay up and watch things. Well, yeah, I think, have proper jobs. Yeah, but I think anyway, it was like 3 a.m. It was, it was yeah. very good. That was very good, Strike Force. Good. But WC. Nah. Mm, I, don't know what nah, I like, so, so like Strike Force. Uh, that was good though. That was a very good fight card. It was. Uh, well, it wasn't a great fight card, but it was very, very entertaining. But yeah, so we did a little prediction. It wasn't as great as the UFC ones because we got to see these live. Um, and yeah, on our predictions, I'm in three one. Woohoo! And um, that's it. Sorry. And yeah, so we'll be doing our review of the event, um, obviously after it happens, and. Uh, yeah, happy new year to everyone. I think this will be going out afterwards. After new year. Oh, it is new year now. It's after all. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching and um, we'll see you in about a week's time. <laughs>